No, oil does not come from old dinosaurs. It's just a common misconception that's spotted by everyone from teachers to television hosts to politicians. There weren't anywhere near enough dinosaur fossils to sustain the 21st century's fossil fuel usage. Unfortunately, this also means that the meme saying that plastic dinosaur figurines or really just recycled dinosaurs turn into mini dinosaurs are not true. So where did the misconception come from? No one's really sure, but I'm of the opinion that it's just a linguistical error. Most of us associate the word fossils with fossilized dinosaur remains. It's normally the context you hear the word in. So when the term fossil fuel got coined, we automatically assumed that fossil fuel meant dinosaur remains turned into fuel. So if fossil fuels aren't from dinosaur remains, then where are they from? Our massive fossil fuel reserves are actually made up from microscopic bacteria. Single cell bacteria are basically the only form of life we had around 600 million years ago. Those bacteria, while minuscule in size, were able to form absolutely massive colonies. Individual bacteria are pretty short-lived, with some lifespans only being minutes long. So as they continued to die en masse, their corpses sank to the bottom of the sea, where they were eventually covered up by layers of sediment. Over the course of millions of years, these sediment layers grew heavier and heavier, until the dead bacteria underneath were essentially cooked by the underwater pressure and temperature into a liquidized hydrocarbon. This is why so much of our global oil supply lies at the bottom of the ocean, where it can only be accessed by deep sea oil rigs. While it might be hard to imagine how microscopic bacteria can become our vast supply of fossil fuels, it's worth keeping in mind the sheer amount of time they had to accumulate. Bacteria and single-celled organisms were the primary form of life on Earth for around 3 billion years. That's a long time. Especially when compared to the fact that human civilization has only been around for 10,000 years, and dinosaurs only last around 165 million years. So while an individual bacteria may be small compared to a 20-foot-tall T-Rex, or a 6-foot-tall human being, Bacteria had much more time to accumulate. It's also interesting to note that since a lot of single-cell organisms survive off the sun's energy, that would technically make fossil fuel solar energy. The sun gave life to the plankton, the plankton died, and became our fossil fuel. Also, I found this article while researching the topic. Throwback to when a dollar gas a gallon was considered expensive. The national average is around $2.75 per gallon for a regular grade of gas. The highest it's ever been in the United States is $4.11 a gallon on July 17, 2008, in the midst of the energy crisis. I might do a video on the energy crisis in the future, but if I do, it probably won't be for a while. 